Dear viewers, our today's video is about the personal uh, diary of Royal de Munson as we have discussed in the previous video that in the next lecture we will discuss uh, some paragraphs that is from the autobiography of Royal de Munson. He writes, as you can see, the page color, which is different from the rest of the text, fine, which is totally a, a narration. And this is a purely, purely like uh, an autobiography, which is from, uh, and from uh, Emanson's diary. He writes, one day, two of the boys and I were standing on the deck deck is the back part of the ship when one of them exclaimed there is a caribou caribou means reindeer an animal he pointed to a small black object just on the skyline of one of the encircling hills he he is one of the companion who pointed to a small black object fine in the skyline in the imaginary line of one of the encircling hills encircling hills as when we travel uh, uh, in a train or um, in any vehicle it seems that we are still and the surrounding is uh, the things, the trees in our surrounding is moving. So here encircling hills means the same that they were in the ship and they were point they they pointed a small black object. The other man, as they totally were three members, one Royal de Manson and two companions, one pointed out uh, uh, something a black object and he called it a caribou. The other one, the other man who had the best vision of the three. He looked steadfastly at the black object for a moment and then turned to his companion and said, that caribou walks on the legs. It means that they were not sure that they are animals or they are, uh, they are, they are human being. Fine, but this much he was sure through his best vision that there is something who is walking on two legs as like a human being. Sure enough, close scrutiny confirmed his quick perception. Scrutiny means when we closely observe something. So, sure enough, close scrutiny confirmed his quick perception. Perception something which like um, an idea like. Uh, okay, uh, his close observe, um, observation confirmed his quick perception that this was not a caribou, but an Eskimo. Eskimo, uh, children, we have discussed in the previous video that they are the native uh, people of the Arctic region. So, it means that caribous are animals and Eskimos are human beings. Some other two-legged caribous joined the first until five figures were outlined against the sky. It means that uh, they made a group of, you know, five figures were outlined against the sky. Then they advanced toward us in a body. I sent the two boys for their rifles and then... The three of us advanced to meet them. I was in the lead and behind me came my little army of two. As the Eskimos neared us, we could see they were all armed with bows and arrows. Now, it uh, it was, a, you know, a warlike situation. Royal de Munson and his uh, companions uh, were having rifles while... The Eskimos, they, they were carrying uh, bows, bows and arrows. This began to look like a ticklish situation. Now, children, what is a ticklish situation? You can guess it from the contextual meaning. 
where there are two parties who are having their intentions of war now this kind of a situation how could how could this situation be it means that uh, a thrilling situation or an adventurous situation you can call it like that we had no way of knowing where whether their intentions were friendly or hostile hostile is the opposite of a friendly intention means enemy like certainly they were equipped for war now you can guess the tickling ticklish situation that they were equipped for war their intentions were uh you know uh like to fight with these strange people however they they were nothing to do but meet them face to face now children as this is an adventurous uh story you can see that as both of these parties are uh, equipped with weapons fine but we cannot see any war like situation when when we will proceed to read about or uh, sometimes a leader uh face the challenging situation fine and he deals it not uh like a war in return of a war sometimes a um, uh, a pacific a uh, a peaceful move can deal the situation in a better way as we can see that in this situation as well the two parties proceeded uh to within about 15 uh paise 15 paises and then halted halted means stopped i then turned to my army and instructed them ostentatiously to throw their rifles on the ground now roald amundsen uh instructed his uh, army in an exaggerated way fine uh, to throw their rifles on the ground because their intentions were not of the war like i then turned to the eskimos their leader seeing this specific move imitated it by uh by turning to his followers and uttering a command they obeyed by throwing their bows and arrows on the ground it means that they also did the same they also threw their weapons on the ground i was unarmed as roald amundsen is saying this he is using this uh, pronoun first person pronoun i for himself he is obviously unarmed he is not armed he is not equipped with his weapons and um and his companions also as they had threw their weapons their rifles on ground and advanced toward them the eskimo leader also came out alone first like there was a conf- confrontry confrontation of the leaders find the both or uh, came alone leaving their companions behind it is remarkable how accurately the two uh, two men can communicate who do not speak a word of a common language and whose whole experience of life seems utterly separated from each other from each others expressions of the face this is face spelling is written wrong here expressions of the face nods and shakes of the head gestures and tones of the voice convey meaning with astonishing accuracy by the by these means i quickly convinced the eskimo leader that i wished to be his friend and he reciprocated my wish now uh when uh when we give someone uh something or uh, a kind of a feeling and we uh, when we get back the same so this is called reciprocation fine here royal demonson conveyed his uh, friendly uh, gesture and friendly feelings to the askemos and he he says that i wished uh, as he said that i wish to be his friend and he reciprocated my wish it means that i got the same gesture and the same feelings from them soon he were 
uh, soon we were all friendly friendly and i invited them down to our ship okay so this was all a very uh, thrilling situation he described fine 